Hi, this is uh, Abdul. Uh, I work at Foreignet company as a technical support engineer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy FortiGate into GNS3. Uh, please note that this uh, recording and this video training does not have to do anything with Fortinet. It's based on my uh, experience that I've gained working as technical support engineer and Fortinet. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you need uh, three uh, things. You need the uh, VMware Workstation 15 uh, as I'm using it on my Windows machine and also you would need a GNS3 and you would need a 40 gate image. So in order to download the um, G VMware Workstation Pro uh, I'm not gonna guide you through the steps there are a lot of YouTube videos uh, that shows you how to download it but this is a link that I'm gonna be sharing to download the uh, workstation and this is also a link for the uh, serial keys that are going to be used for the uh, VMware Workstation 15. So once you get that downloaded, which is here, uh, what you need to do is to open it and have it set up. Okay, uh, the second thing you need is a GNS3 uh, image. So I'm going to just be showing you on that VMware how to download it. So if you go to the GNS3 website, GNS3 download, you just type in GNS3 download and you're gonna um, navigate through the website. You're gonna create a account of yours. Uh, I'm not gonna walk you through that, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, after you sign up to the um, GNS3 uh, website, you can download it here and Two notes about the GNS3 installation. First note is that you need to have GNS3 VM. That GNS3 VM is going to be downloaded with all the files and you're going to need to be running it here uh, in the VMware workstation. All right, so let's get back to here. You add that and then what type of GNS3 image is going to be filmed in the workstation. Everything else uh, is going to be straightforward. I'm not just going to, I'm not going to walk you through that. I'm just showing you how to uh, do that. Now, so once we have the GNS3 uh, set up, you open the GNS3, all right? So uh, when you open the GNS3, um, there are going to be a setting showing up here. Uh, you can just cancel it and if you browse through preferences and GNS3 VM that would need to be enabled but first you will need to install the GNS3 VM so basically there would be a file uh, within the GNS3 file downloaded and there is be GNS3 VM OVA and you can install that uh, I'm not going to walk you through the process, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any um, issues with installing that or trouble, please contact me uh, on my email. Uh, so, uh, and also there are a lot of videos that would show you how to do that. Now, once you have the GNS3 VM enabled, you enable the GNS3 VM from the setting here, all right? And when you run the GNS3 VM, what's going to happen is the VM is starting in GNS3 VM. It's going to be booting up like this one here. All right. So it's green now. Sometimes you might have an issue of having it running green. What do you need to do? Maybe just restart your computer. Make sure that there are IP addresses showing up here. Maybe restart the GNS3 VM. That could happen sometimes. Uh, now uh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna uh, show you how to uh, install the uh, forty gate image. First of all, you need to go to the website support.fortinet.com. I have an account here created for myself. Um, it's pretty straightforward creating an account. All right, you just need to um, register, 
type in your email ID information and then it's gonna ask you for some personal information some of it is company uh, which company do you work for you can type in the company you work for and its address uh, it's pretty straightforward okay once you have the account set up already if you go to download VM firmware images this is not gonna give you anything you will need to uh, go to VM images for that you would need to have a registered device with Fortinet and a license so if you go to VMware images let's download the 626 all right and you can download the uh, file which is uh, KVM there are a lot of platforms available the one we're going to be using is KVM all right so once we get that downloaded which is this file here now what we're going to do is we're going to run that image into the 48 so let me open a new project call it GNS 3 48 test all right so uh, I'm going to run a new template okay recommended firewall 40 gate install next next so uh, if you notice there is no 626 40 gate VM this is the first thing so we'll need to allow custom files and create a new version before that you'll need to download mt3g so you can download you can press download it's going to be downloaded automatically and then you can import it uh, and the new version that we're going to be create which is 626 please note that this image name showed up because i already had an image of 40 gate version 6 and the build is 1010 that might not be showing up for you so you can uh, enter the disk uh, image name which is that one so this one but the build is going to be 1175 all right and this is the mt3g you should download it so you're gonna have to import the um, mt330g all right just that file and also you need to import the image which is this one I already have them imported so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do next on ready to install and we can install 626 all right so looks like it's all set so let's deploy a cloud and make it as genus 3 vm let's deploy 626 here and connect the cables and we're going to turn it on please note that it might take some time to get the image uh, up and running but um, I just want to show you in this video how to uh, get the 40 gate image deployed into the GNS3 uh, also just quick um, installation guide of GNS3 and VMware workstation please note if you'd like to get more information about that you can either get in touch with me or there are a lot of videos available of how to install VMware workstation 15 and the GNS3 So let's give it a minute here until the 40 gate is up and running. So we're almost done with the first video today. Uh, I'm just going to show you the 40 gate GUI after it gets up and running. All right, just down now. Should come up soon.
Alright, it's restarting the system, system is starting and it should be coming in a few seconds. So uh, it mentioned on the VM that the username is admin and the password is no password. Okay, let's log in, create a new password. So uh, port one here is connected to the cloud. It got an IP address already from the cloud. Make sure that port one set up to DHCP as shown here. All right, so let's go and log in. This is the fourth gate, and it's going to give you a trial of the license. After that, you would need to have another fourth gate VM installed um, because you won't be able to use that uh, VM anymore after two weeks almost. All right, I hope that you guys like this video. And the next coming videos, I'll be explaining about IPsec VPN. What are the types of IPsec VPNs? Labs for each one of the type, and also about SSL VPN. Uh, I'll be giving explanation. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys uh, have a good day. Bye bye.